Hello, everyone. This is Yuki's English News Program. As you already know, we have very sad news. TV announcer Mao Kobayashi passed away after a two-year battle with breast cancer. I'm sorry for her loss. 皆さんこんにちは。世界の人と話そう英語ニュースの時間です。今日は大変悲しいニュースを紹介します。アナウンサーの小林奈さんが乳がんで亡くなりました。これから私が読む英語のニュースを聞いてクイズに答えてくださいね。Question 1 Where Mao Kobayashi passed away, who were at her bedside?Question 2 What is the title of her blog?Question 3 What was her last words before she passed away?Well then, please listen to the news.Mao Kobayashi, a former Japanese announcer, Died of breast cancer on 22nd June at home in Tokyo. She was 34. When she passed away, she was with her parents, her elder sister and announcer Maya Kobayashi, her two children, and her husband at her bedside. Her husband, famous kabuki actor Ebizo Ichikawa, said in his own blog that it was the day when he cried most in his life. Miss Kobayashi's last entry onto the blog was posted on 20th, two days before her death. She wrote she loved the taste of orange juice squeezed by her mother. In her blog, titled Kokoro, which means heart in Japanese, she shared the feelings with those who are fighting the same illness. Her blog has been translated into English and Chinese, and she has encouraged a lot of people in the world. Because of this blog, she was named one of the BBC's 100 women in 2016. Her husband, Mr. Ichikawa, said, When she passed, she was looking at me. She said, I love you, and left us. She continued to think only of us family and showed us her smile until the last moment. I know I'll keep learning from her. いかがでしたか聞き取りはできましたかニュース本文とクイズの答えはメールマガジンで確認してくださいね。Well, I'm so sorry for her loss.、Um, at the same time, I truly respect her. It must be tough to fight cancer and face the death. But she didn't hide her disease. On the contrary, she wrote a blog and tried to share her feelings with others. That's what I respect about her her love, compassion, her brave heart. Even before her death, she continued to smile to the very last moment. I think her family must be proud of her always forever. And she did make a difference in the world. So let me offer my condolences for her loss and let our thoughts and prayers be with her and her family. Thank you for listening. May God bless you.